What's a hybrid inverter? What exactly is a hybrid inverter? What is a hybrid inverter? <laughs> if I haven't been asked that question, I would have been asked that question over a thousand times. They just want to know what a hybrid inverter is. What's the difference between a hybrid inverter and the non-hybrid inverter? And most especially people who have never had a solo setup in their entire life. And now they're considering that power option and they get an installer to do just that for them. The first question the installer is going to ask is, ma'am, sir, which would you prefer? Would you prefer a hybrid inverter or would you prefer a non-hybrid inverter? <laughs> but I can guarantee you that that kind of question further gets them even more confused as they have zero idea what a hybrid inverter is. So if you're seeking that information and you want to find out exactly what a hybrid inverter is, what is the difference between a hybrid inverter and a non-hybrid inverter? Today is your lucky day. All you need to do, my friend, is to stick around. I will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun, everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. And right here I have two hybrid inverters. On my left, a hybrid inverter, on my right is another hybrid inverter. From the name, it pretty much sounds cool, right? <laughs> hybrid inverter. Sounds like something that is really so very much technologically advanced. <laughs> And if they had to leave you just by the way the name sounds, you're going to go with it, right? A hybrid inverter. So let's tell you exactly what a hybrid inverter is. Okay, now, do not get it twisted. A hybrid inverter simply means that it has a charge controller on the inside. All right, so it has an inbuilt charge controller. So this is a charge controller. You guys already know what a charge controller does. It essentially regulates the energy that comes from the solar panel so that it doesn't overcharge the batteries. Essentially, it cares for the battery. So it does a whole lot more other functions, but that's not what we're talking about today. Now, a hybrid inverter simply means that this inverter comes pre-installed with a charge controller. So if you're doing a solar system setup, you do not need a charge controller because right in here, you already have a charge controller. All right, so you don't need this guy. So you just throw it away. So when you're doing your connections with your hybrid inverter, always keep in mind that it already has a charge controller inbuilt in it. So the both of them already have charge controllers on the inside of the inverter. So you don't need a charge controller. So that's where the name came from, hybrid, a combination of two things in one, the inverter and charge controller all in one unit. You know how it was during the post-COVID when lots of companies started asking themselves, is it really necessary always having the staff come into the office every single day? Let's try a different method. Let's have them work from home and let's see how it goes. And then they allow their staff to work from home and that pretty much worked out well. Because today you have lots of companies, including Google, allowing their staff work from home. So if it's a nine to five job and you're scheduled to work five days in a week, you get to work three days from home and you work two days at the office. So if you asked me and I was working for these people, I will tell you I'm working hybrid. <laughs> so that's hybrid. So that's essentially what's going on here. So it's a hybrid situation. So you have a crossover between the charge controller here and the inverter all in one unit. So the beautiful thing about it is that it saves you a lot of space, though lots of them come as wall mount but sometimes you might not even have space on the wall, <laughs> okay? So it's gonna save you a lot of space both on the ground and on the wall, because this comes compact as one unit. And one of the good things about the hybrid inverter and for the fact that it's integrated into one unit with the charge controller and the inverter being one unit is the fact that the setting sometimes can be very simple because you have one setting for the inverter, same setting goes for the charge controller. For instance, if you're setting up this system and you wanna set up the charging parameters for your batteries, same setting goes automatically for the charge controller on the inside and the inverter as well. So it makes it less complicated. But if you are dealing with a non-hybrid inverter, that means you're gonna have a separate inverter and you have a separate charge controller. So you're gonna have to set this separately and also set the charge controller separately. And sometimes it can be very complicated. So it's pretty cool, it's compact, it saves you a lot of space both on the wall and on the ground because it comes 
as a wall mount. Most of them actually come as wall mount. So that's what a hybrid inverter is. So never get it twisted. It's not a rocket science. So whenever you hear hybrid inverter, it simply means that it already has this guy on the inside, which is a charge controller. So the only situation where you're gonna have to need an external charge controller when you already have a hybrid inverter is that situation where you're introducing more and more solar panels. Because essentially when you're building your system, your system should be scalable. That means you can afford to upgrade, add more things without necessarily changing what you already have existing. All right, so when you're introducing more solar panels, definitely at some point, the capacity of the solar panels might be a lot higher than the capacity that your hybrid inverter can handle. So at that point in time, you're permitted, my friend, to get an external charge controller. But if your solar panels are within the range of the capacity of this guy, which is a hybrid inverter, then you're good. You don't need a charge controller, my friend. <laughs> All right, so uh, this in itself, it's also in some situations, this is cheaper to have. It's more affordable than having to have separate systems, like having a separate inverter and having a separate charge controller. This in itself is more economical and it also does the job. And this right here, my friend, is a fantastic hybrid. It's called the TTN, all right? It's tireless, runs round the clock, known for its extraordinary longevity. It's very energy efficient. It can be connected to the Wi-Fi, okay? So you can monitor the activities that are going on on this energy system from very far away. So you can get to know the energy level that is coming from the solar panel. So it's such a beautiful hybrid inverter with very simplified setting interface and comes in different ranges of colors. This guy is a blue color and this is a yellow color. All right, so this right here is a six kilowatt. All right, it's fantastic, really very good. And this is 3.5 kilowatts. So if you guys need this stuff, you know what to do. Give me a holler and I'll hook you up. <laughs> I'll always have your back. Okay. Or you can also call Van Charles on the number on the screen. It's going to hook you guys up. He has very good stuff. So I also talked about this enclosure box. It's a fantastic and beautiful enclosure box. They call the Max G. I discovered this guy. And that's what I've been using for most of my installations right now. Because it's really beautiful. It gives this um, kind of premium feel to your connection, makes it very tidy, makes it look real. <laughs> okay, so in here it stores in houses or your circuit breaker and all of that. So it's something you might need to look into, makes your job looks very beautiful. So it has this stuff that is built in it that I just can't get over it. All right, so it's like a plastic screw. Okay, so you don't need an external screw. So once you turn the screw, um the front cover comes up so you can do your connections then you tighten it back again it goes all the way back so it's really very cool and they also have the circuit breaker too which is very high quality called max g as well they have it both in the dcs and the acs and I actually had to do a bridge test on this circuit breakers and it trips which is very important so that it can safeguard or protect your appliances okay so they have this both in um dc and ac as well so if you want to get any of this, you will find the number on the screen. Thank you so very much, guys. That's the very much we can do today. We appreciate you being part of it and always standing by. If you haven't subscribed, always remember that this is how you support what we're doing and we very much appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, and do not forget to share. See you guys in the next video.